Hey everyone, my name is Carmen and welcome to a new store-bought slime review video. Today, I'll be giving a 100% honest review on some store-bought slimes that I purchased from Target and Walmart. I have six different slimes to show you guys and Amazon links will be linked down below. And don't forget to subscribe and follow my Instagram, like this video as well. And don't forget that my slime restock is December 12th Sunday at 2 p.m. PST. Let's go ahead and get started with the biggest slime. This is like a mini slime bucket that I paid $10 for from Walmart. It is a 24 ounce clear slime from Elmer's Goo. It is called Deep Goo Sea and of course ocean themed. So it comes with some bing soup beads, some glitter, fishbowl beads, and shark and fish female slices. I love the variety of add-ins. You can use them all or just a few. After removing all the plastic from the packaging, you just have to take off this little knob and it was a little hard to open up the lid. So I did use a scissor to pop it open. And here it is, a sizable amount of some clear slime in a bucket. This clear slime feels like all the other Elmer's Goo clear slimes I felt before. It is very thick and putty-like, super clear, and I love how it's scented just like fresh blueberries. It smells just like the other blueberry clear slimes that they sell. Overall, really thick, great for squeezing, but it is a little hard to stretch, which has happened to other Elmer's clear slimes that I've purchased before. So I think it's depending on the batch, but I do recommend having some clear glue or glycerin or any type of slime slime softener to have on hand in case you need to soften up a slime. As you can tell, it is super, super clicky, and once you soften it up, it makes amazing bubble pops. Overall, I really do recommend it. For $10, you get a good amount of quality clear slime putty. And now I am adding all the add-ins in there, but trying to make it a cute little design. There are multicolored fishbowl beads, white pinksel beads, and green glitter, and of course these cute shark female slices with the smaller fish females. And here is the final product. The add-ins definitely match the slime, and I really loved mixing it in. It gave a really nice crunch. slime looks super gorgeous and sparkly once you fully mix in the add-ins. I love how I can see all four different types throughout the slime. As I mentioned before, the slime is a little stiff and hard to stretch, so I added in some glycerin which really helps soften it up and check it out. It is so stretchy now, easier now to make those satisfying bubble pops. All in all, definitely recommend this slime if this interests you and you see it on the shelf. Next, we have a new slime from Compound Kings. It is in this cute cup with a yellow unicorn kitty cap, which is just adorable. This is called Whipped Bingsu Cuties. Comes with some mix-ins, add-ins, and charms. There are some whipped slimes and some clear-based Bingsu slimes. 
After opening up the packaging, it comes with this tiny little pamphlet that you can check off any of the slimes or charms that you collect from them. The charm comes separately in this pink unicorn bag and it looks like I have this blue owl. So it looks like all the different slimes arrived in their own packaging. So there's an orange bingsu slime, two whip slimes, a pink and purple bingsu slime as well. I'm just going to set up the slime and play with each slime on its own. First off, we have this pink purple one. It's actually pretty stretchy, but not too stretchy. It smells like a berry frosting and all of these just smell like berry frosting and nothing like vanilla frosting it does have that fruity note to it. The clear base slimes feel very similar. They're all squishy, semi-stretchy, and have this slight wet residue. The whip slime seems like it's a cloud cream with some clay in it. The clear base slimes have some bingsu beads and some glitter throughout it to make it extra sparkly. And here is the final product in this cute little cup. I love the colors. So I put the orange, the white, the pink, the white, then the purple. The swirl is super gorgeous and it's super fun to mix. The slimes on their own were pretty stretchy, but once I fully mixed it up, the slime did get a little stiffer. So it was really fun to see but it wasn't the stretchiest. I did love the color that it turned into as well. It kind of just feels like a fluffy clear slime with a bit of snow in it. The slime wasn't that stretchy so I did decide to add some glycerin. It did not soften the slime, didn't make it stretchier, so I wouldn't really recommend it unless you keep the slimes by itself and you don't mix it until you're done with the slime. Next, we have this lava lamp slime from Play-Doh, which is a little pricey. It was $8.50 for this, and you don't get too much slime. I think you're just buying for the packaging and the cute lava lamp. I love the overall colors, though. It is a purple cap on the bottom, and the slime does have this clear purple on top and a brighter pink on the bottom. And in the middle compartment, there are some purple and red bingsu beads along with some charms and beads to add into the slime. I got a pink sparkly jellyfish. Right when I opened up the slime, I could smell this light grape scent which I really loved. It matches the colors very well. And this clear slime is very surprising. I actually really loved it. It felt like a thick and stretchy clear slime, not putty at all. And quite honestly, one of the best store-bought clear slimes I've ever purchased. This texture itself is amazing. And after adding in the beads, it became so crunchy and bubbly. Definitely recommend this if you're willing to pay a little more. Overall, a great slime and one that I would actually continue playing with. Next up is also a new slime. This is a Play-Doh one that is called Foam Sparklers and there was a gold one but I purchased the blue one. This one is in a smaller container with a blue sparkly cap and I paid $4.20 for it. You don't get a lot of it and it just feels like a sticky foam bead slime that does have some glitter throughout it. Not too special. It's not scented as well so kind of just smells like paint and i wouldn't really recommend it it just feels very sticky and borax doesn't help to fix that it is crunchy though and i love squishing and squeezing it but because of its stickiness i wouldn't recommend you give it a try because you might have to toss it out but you can be hopeful for a better batch
Next, we have a Nickelodeon slime and quite honestly, the most affordable. It is $4 for over seven ounces and I got this from Target. I love the overall design. It looks very good from the outside. They also have a variety of textures and colors and scents to choose from. So if you see them at Target, you have a lot to choose from. This is a green clear base slime that does come with some jelly cubes that you can squish up. There isn't too many of them, but still a good amount to enjoy. The texture at first was very putty-like. It rips very easily. And as you can tell, a little hard to get out of the container. So I had to use my little knife to take it out just like it is jam. My overall review, well, honestly, for $4, it's pretty great. It's foldable and squishy and it's not too stretchy. Only if you lightly stretch it, then it'll be stretchy. But if you put some more force into it, it will rip very easily. But still, I think for $4, it's great. This one is also scented a fruity scent, which I believe is the kiwi one. It's on the sour side. And this one also has some black beads in it to look like kiwi seeds. Although it does rip very easily, if you play with it delicately, it is very enjoyable. Lastly is another Nickelodeon slime and this is a cookie dough one. So the texture actually feels very similar to the first one except slightly thicker and I love how it's ultra glossy. It smells just like cookie dough. A pretty strong scent so if you like those then I do recommend it. And as you can tell it is a little rippy so kind of the same as the first one. You do have to play with it delicately. Again, for $4, you are getting what you're paying for, and I love how it's not sticky at all. And you know, you can have your fun with it, you can squish it, slowly stretch it, make nice bubble pops, and it smells amazing. This one does have a cookie-like color with some brown perler beads and other beads as well. Overall, some of these store-bought slimes are worth it, and I definitely recommend some, especially if you're looking to do some Christmas slime shopping. Anyways, that is all for this review video. I thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!